Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I'm from MyJS Electronics and today we're going to continue with a uh, Yaskava GA500 series drive. We're going to run a drive today in remote control for two and three wire controls, also using a potentiometer. If you are missed by any chance, last video we commissioned the drive, auto-tuned the drive and uh, the, the factory reset it and all the other bits and I run pretty much running locally. That video is going to be in description below and any other related videos any manuals and anything that i think would benefit you in any possible way you can find them in description below so without further ado let's get started <music> There we go, our first station that we are going to be uh, using, it's going to be our two wire control station. So let me just put that in front of, to show you what that's going to look like. It pretty much looks like that. So we're going to have a run forward, run reverse, we're going to have a jog and also speed. And if you can see in, in our a little, uh, in the wiring on the drive, if I can put this one down. We still got plenty, I know it's been covered with the cables in there. We still got S3, 4, 5 and 6 available. We are occupying S1 and S2. S1 is going to be for our forwards, S2 is going to be for reverse. And S7 is going to be for our jog. But again, you can put the jog in S3 if you wish. I left it in S7 because uh, it's already is programmed for the jog. But I'll show you a little trick if you don't want to use a run button to be able to enable the jog. But before we get started with that one, so uh, let's go through the wiring. First thing, as you can see, I have a, uh, a potentiometer. Potentiometer is rated at 2.2 kilo ohms. So, and uh, we have three wires going to a, um, a V plus, AC and A1. And we need to make sure that that switch in here where you can see the I and the V, that is down, so for the volt. And then it comes down to the wiring. As you can see in here, we have two normally closed contacts. One of them is going for the H, H2 and HC. HC is our supply, as you can see, it comes here in the bottom. It's basically is a sort of internal safety circuit for the drive. Once you click it, it will uh, pretty much stop the drive and uh, stop the power going to the motor and let the motor stop. So we are sending the H1, H2 to, uh, to, to um, uh, in this end, well basically these are two returning cables and our incoming cable is a HC which comes from here. So that pretty much covers the entire top. So then we are, have a cable number one which is coming for a, uh, if you can dig it, right in the bottom there's a cable called S, N, yes, SN, and so that SN is our uh, power source of, for this station. So it comes to the uh, uh, e-stop button again, goes to the e-stop button, that's where we send the power to all three buttons. And as already mentioned, the run forwards will be uh, S1, run reverse S2, and uh, jogging is gonna be S7. Uh, uh, Remember, you can still add ton of any, anything else if you wish to do that so for the programming and changing uh, the buttons as you can see down here I quickly give you a, a small glimpse from the manual these are the options and there's another page where you can assign each input not even to mention what can you program in a in a programming software which you're going to look at later on ton of it there's so much you can do and so if you see down here we've got to be closer than it at the moment, six stands a jog reference selection. For this six in here, for jog reference selection, you do need to have a run uh, signal to be enabled. So for that, well, I just uh, don't like that one. So if you go down there, the uh, Scarva gave you a option in here. It says a 12, which is a forward jog, and 13 is a reverse jog. I have selected this number, and once you do that number, which is, which is in a parameter group, a um, H, H1, and uh, which one we are, as you can see, in seventh. This is my uh, S7. I have selected 12 in there, and now I am able to, by clicking a, a jog button, or send the just send the one signal back to S7, the jog is on. So uh, let's let me put the cover on, and we'll have a look how that works.
Here we go, the cover is on, so the station looks like that. So uh, I'm just gonna try to see, make sure we can see everything in the camera. So uh, be make sure that you are in remote mode, just only the only button you really need to select before uh, uh, going from uh, local to remote. So uh, it's quite handy, guys. And to go forward, you obviously it's quite forward, and as you can see, the motor is spinning, and you got this potentiometer in here. So for that, if you try to activate the both buttons at the same time, it will error out. So it will ask you to remove, it will not accept the both buttons at the same time. So by removing that, so and then you have a jog button in here, as you can see, it works independently. And that uh, frequency can be set uh, uh, changed in uh, D117, uh, so you can do that in there. And if you see if you if if we run it, because we are using a uh, H1 H2, uh, if you alarm it, you can see the uh, the drive uh, the motor went in a, in a free standstill. So and if you remove it, it will automatically reset, but it will not let you run uh, because it wants you to, re uh, to turn off all the signals, which is a very handy thing to have. And then you can pretty much start up again. So that's how a two-wire control is done. So next, let's jump on to three-wire control. Here we go, all set up for four three-wire control. The first thing what we need to do is we need to initialize the drive to be in the three-wire control. So uh, for that, there's a couple of ways to do it. One, one way you can do it manually and, uh, and the quick way you can do it with initialization. The only problem is if you have been in uh, two-wire control and now you want to jump to three-wire control, you will have to enter all the uh, motor data. So uh, that's the way to go. But again, that is the easiest way to do. So uh, because it will, it will rearrange quite a bit, so uh, that'll be easiest way to do. So uh, if you are in three-wire control, it sort of tells you in here, what it's going to do is the S1 will change to uh, will be run and the terminal S2 will be stop and it tells you the S5 will be uh, for forward and reverse. The rest of the S's you can program whichever way you want to do that. So that's exactly what we're going to do in here. We're going to go into a parameters, A1, 3, enter that one, then just add the three threes. And then click and uh, enter, and it will click uh, rearrange your uh, uh, your um, uh, uh, inputs in there for three wire control. And the next thing is again, you lost all the information because remember, with every single initialization, you are setting all the all the parameters back to factory default. So let me uh, enter back all of the factory defaults, and we'll continue. And when I said factory defaults, I mean a uh, motor parameters and things like that to uh, pretty much uh, uh, commission the drive again. So that's all done now. So let me show you how the station is going to look now. It will uh, be a... So here we go. So we will have a start, a stop and for uh, uh, forward uh, reverse, if you were selected, it will be going in reverse. And also we have a uh, spade controller as well. And we, of course, we're going to be using again the e-stop to shut the drive down. And when it comes down to a wiring, again, let me just run you through. We are using a, a one uh, normally closed contact in here to control our H1, H2 and HC. So HC coming in here, H1 and H2 uh, going back. And in the next one, we got a, a number one, the SN coming to another normally open contact, going via normally open contact, and going to a next, after that, it goes into next normally co uh, open contact. From there on, it carries on power, sending power to uh, two uh, buttons, which is one is start and one is a uh, selection for a forward and reverse. And another cable here, that's the one, the two, is returning back to our terminal S2, as I mentioned at the very beginning. That's going to be our stop signal. And obviously, we still have our a, uh, potentiometer, which is going into AC, A1, and V+. Plus. So that's pretty much all you really need to do to get into this kind of control. Obviously, there's all this fi fine-tuning and, uh, and everything else you need to do for your application. But for the most basic way, this is all you need to do. So let me put the cover on, and I shall show you how that works.
go so the cover is on but do remember you still have all these s's left in there which is the s3 4 and 6 and a 7 they all can be CP prone for multi frequency or or uh, trip resets or quick stops or, or everything just check it out what comes as part of the, uh, the holistic show at the very beginning and all your parameters starting from h1-1 uh, all the way to h1-7 to dash seven, is all s's you can be programmed in there so as you can see this is our station and so uh, do make sure again we are in a remote mode and by clicking a start as you can see the button now latches in and you can sort of control your speed uh, whichever way you want it and uh, if you if that was going reverse and now we're going to the other way so it does allow you to do that while it is still in a run mode and once you select obviously at the e-stop the motor will go in stop mode and it's pretty much ready to go again and that's ladies and gentlemen how the three wire control is done of course there's ton more that this drive is capable do it's as i said a very in, in the very first video it is a, a drive is built uh, with a hell load of uh, functions and uh, abil abilities that he can do before pretty much for the likings of for something for everyone let's put it this way so that ladies and gentlemen will do for the two wire and three wire control in the next video we're going to be checking out how to set up the mlp control with two button speed control and also we'll be checking out at the multi-frequency setup so if you like that video please smash that like and uh if you did again as usual smack just like comment below any questions and things like that do do comment them below and i'll answer them as soon as and as accurate as i can so uh on that ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching and i will see you in next video